right now, you know, we doing this documentary on me or whatever. And um, you called and, you know, to see what I was doing. Are we doing a documentary on you? Yeah. About? About, um, you know, my life. I'm make, it's going to be a DVD in my album. The Nero's a movie. Get my mom on camera, dog. My two mama. Why you making a documentary, a DVD? Y'all gonna be on it. That's my mama right there. That's my crazy brother-in-law and his friends right there. Mom, it's the weekend, ain't it? Ain't it the weekend? Uh, anyway. This the Mac, the Macadocious chapter right here. <laughs> Hello? But anyway, um. Nah, no, just tell me when I'm gonna see you again. Yeah. So I'm working, yeah, I work tomorrow. Well, I'm working on Tuesday. Alright. I just, I'm working this week because I had not too much left for somebody else, so. Just tell me when you gonna, uh, got time for a nigga. So we can spend some time with each other and get to know each other. And, and, and maybe something will pop off. You just gonna have to wait for the documentary to get to know you. I'm going to have to what? You just told me I had to wait for the documentary to get to know you. I was joking, baby. Okay. I'm just checking. Okay. So, what's the deal? Well, I have time Tuesday. Tuesday night? Tuesday night? Yeah, Tuesday night. Why had to be Tuesday night? What's you doing Tuesday night? I'm working. You know, work. Music, record sales, things of that nature. But you don't be hanging out late. Oh, okay. What time you be getting off work? We'll figure something out. Maybe you'll come in the morning and chill with me. Oh, okay. We'll figure something out. But, uh, okay, what you I'll do, what that up to you. What you doing tonight? Working. <laughs> Damn. We'll figure something out. See how bad you really want to see me. Huh? I said we'll figure something out. See how bad you really want to see me. Okay. Well, it'll be somewhere around the work schedule. Okay. Okay. Give me a kiss. Yeah, right. <laughs> Give me some sugar. No. Mwah. Yeah, going to the kitchen to get some sugar there. You tripping. Okay, be mean. It's all good. <laughs> I'm being mean. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you like that. I'm going to give you some sugar. Okay, I'll give you some, uh -huh. su I'll give you some sugar later then. Positive. You're strange. I'm strange. <laughs> Why? Because it ain't mapping out. Why? Oh, we'll talk about that later. Oh, okay. Well, uh -huh. we'll talk about it later, so I'm going to hit you up. Okay. I have to go. I have to go say bye. Okay, baby. Bye. Bye. Another bit. And somebody else was calling me, so let's see who that was. It was. And I don't even know what the hell that bitch was talking about. I have no idea. I'll just be talking whatever to him. I do this every day. You just see him like one day. Hello? 
What you doing? Nothing. Um, nothing really. No road in traffic. So what's the deal? What you doing today? Uh -huh. What you doing today? Today, um, nothing. Nothing really. I'm going to off work. So. Where, where you live at? The east side or west side? Damn, that's right. Damn. Yeah. When, you, when next time you coming to Detroit? Um, probably next month. Next month. Oh, today, this end of the month. Sometime end of the month. End of the month. Yeah, next month. That means I gotta come to you then. When you wanna come? When you want me to come. <laughs> If I come, I'm going to have to bring my toothbrush. <laughs> no, I don't. Huh? You're going to bring those from last hour and a half. I ain't nowhere. You said what? Hour and a half drive. I'm not driving nowhere for an hour and a half without bringing my toothbrush. Whatever, you can call. Girl, you can call. Call me. 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 I tell you what, you just come and see me one day. So you tell me when next time you come to Detroit, and you come since it ain't nothing, then you come and see me. <laughs> How about okay. that? Okay, you have to bring no toothbrush. You ain't gotta bring a toothbrush. You the one doing the driving. <laughs> I got a toothbrush. I got a toothbrush for you anyway. Hmm. I got a toothbrush for you anyway. I bring my toothbrush anyway. My you toothbrush always in my purse. Okay, yeah, you need that toothbrush, so when you kiss me, you can, you know, <laughs> make sure your breath is fresh. No, well, after I get done eating, I can brush my teeth. And then kiss me. And then kiss me. So you all right today? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, yeah, let's to that CD. It was hot. I mean, I like the beat. You like them beats on that CD? Yeah, it's like six or seven tracks on it, right? Right. Just one out of seven? Yeah, I wasn't really feeling, but it's different. I mean, it's not like your ordinary, like, beats, like, like, I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm glad you at least like my music, seeing that it sounds like you don't like me. Check this out. What you have here, if you look, is Rosedale Park. See these big houses? You can't get a house over here for less than two hundred thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? I say about nine, ten years old. This is where I was raised at, in Rosedale Park. It's like a secluded area in Detroit, Michigan. It's like one of the suburbs of Detroit. Cause as you know, Detroit is real ghetto. And um, you know, like I told you, I'm a music producer. I'm a music man. I ain't no gangster nigga trying to come out, trying to be hard and all that shit. I am just want to make good music. Um, I remember walking in this park to get to the, to the house. My uh, elementary school cook was right down the street. We used to walk through this park right here, and we used to go home. I used to live on the other side of Rosedale Park, which is North Rosedale Park. On Ashton. Um, you know, it was funny growing up as a pastor of a son because I always got teased and I was never the popular person. And, you know, I used to wear clothes other than the clothes that was the style because my father was a preacher and he didn't let me wear that type of stuff. But it's all good. Because when I got older, I was able to do what I want to do, and now I'm doing what I want to do. You see what I'm saying? But I never knocked the roots in which I came from. Um, I'm, 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 I'm happy about where I came from. Um, good family structure. We have our ups and downs, but we always make it through. So this is Rosedale Park, where Janeiro grew up at. I want my son to grow up 
um, in the neighborhood better than me, um, even though this was a good neighborhood. Um, where I was born at, from the ages of like, when I was little, all the way up to the age of like nine, I didn't grow up in this good neighborhood. I grew up on the east side. Now the east side is like a whole nother world. And that's where I live at now, on the east side. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like motherfucking blade and shit. I got the best of the both worlds, because west side niggas and east side niggas in Detroit is totally different. But I got like best of both worlds. I don't know west side niggas and I know east side niggas. But when we film the section of the east side, it's going to be a whole nother world. The east side of Detroit. So y'all, where I was raised at. And to this day, my brother still resides in Rosedale Park. My brother Ballin, y'all, he an engineer. So you niggas can do anything. I'm out. Yeah, like I was saying, it's like this. Women, they a trip. You know what I'm saying? Personally, me, personally, I wish I was married. I wish I, like, could marry my child's mother and and, 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 and take care of my kid and all that stuff. I'm working on that right now. Everybody got their dreams and their aspirations. My dream and aspirations is to uh, be able to take care of my family. That's my dream. And that's my aspiration and what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? That's all I want to do. I have enough money doing my music. I have my child's mother working for me, nobody else. My son grew up working for me, working for my company. And what we're trying to do, every man's supposed to have a dream. If you don't have a dream, then you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. So I really believe that. So, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, like I was saying, these hoes out here, they ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? They call them me off the hook all day. The nigga can't even breathe. They ain't shit. Females, I don't know what's wrong with them. Just hold on for me. Hello? 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 What up, though? So, um, what you doing tonight? What time you gonna be home? What time? What time you gonna be home? Okay, so why don't you do this? Why, why don't you go home, get sexy for me, and then we gonna we gonna do something, I guess. Just chill with me tonight. That's not a problem. Okay, so I'll say about eight thirty then. You'll be good. Huh? About eight thirty, you'll be good. Yeah, fine. Okay. Um. What you gonna do to me? I'm just messing with you. I don't know. You gonna show me love? I need love tonight. Do you? All right. Is that a problem? Not at all. Huh? Not at all. Okay, baby. I'm gonna call you later. That nigga did 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 is it? Yeah, we get it in like that. Uh huh. Johnny said. Yeah, I'm rolling like some cushy, get it popping like your pussy. When I lick it, make it gushy. 
Now it's wet like a geyser. Yeah, I'm smooth like MacGyver. Tell me who is more fire? Got girls obsessed.